Hey guys, it's Riley here and welcome to episode 16 of Let's FIFA 18. And in this episode, we're starting off by playing a squad battle match, but then we'll jump into online divisions and we'll see if we can get the division title in this episode of Division 7, I believe it is. We need to uh, string together a couple of wins, uh, but it um, we're in pretty good form as of right now, so hopefully we can continue that. But first off, playing squad battles for two reasons one i need a one more match against a squad battle team in order to complete the weekly rewards of well i guess what well, just been the week uh, that passed uh, in regards to the weekly uh, weekly challenges so i need to play one more match there and at the same time i need to get a bit of fitness on my Serie A squad so um yeah, we go in with our Portuguese League and Bundesliga squad and I am thinking of upgrading this team because it would be nice to have a fitness squad that I feel comfortable with playing in divisions as well uh, because right now I'm just using it offline. However, it's quite nice playing the squad battles because there's a lot of rewards. Uh, you quite easily uh, climb up on the leaderboard as well as you have the weekly rewards where you get some, uh, get some rewards for just playing it. So it's also at the same time quite nice just to play with the team here, but... Um, yeah, we have like around 60,000 coins or something like that. So we could build a nice secondary team for online play, uh, I'm thinking. Anyways, as you can see here, we've got 2,400 points for beating the AI 4-0. And uh, yeah, you like you can quite quickly get used to how the AI plays. And then it's not too difficult to get like a, a good win against it, even on some of the higher difficulties. I suppose playing on the ultimate difficulty will be very very difficult but any other difficulty you can definitely adjust to pretty quickly i'd say anyways um as you can see here we complete a daily reward which wasn't really that amazing we got a silver pack but at the same time we completed that um weekly reward in which i had to play a certain amount of squad battle matches and i believe i got like a couple of thousand coins for that or something like that um as you can see here we get a thousand coins in which is quite nice, I suppose, from playing those matches. Uh, but I guess the majority of those squad battle matches I played in like the last weekend. So uh, we won't like we're not that high on the leaderboard uh, right now. I think we only played two squad battle matches in total, but we still climbed into s silver two, I believe. So it's not too difficult to just like get a couple of thousand coins. Like playing one two matches and you get like one or two packs and some coins. It's not too bad, to be fair. Anyways, time to play online. Play with our little Serie A squad. And uh, we're up against a Bundesliga team. Very strong looking. The front three in the midfield, very, very good. And the defense, maybe a couple of players I thought I could get around. Sula, I've been playing with it myself. And I didn't really feel it was that great. Uh, even though he's quite big, um, I just didn't really like playing with him. But anyways, we've got a big chance there to start off with, but I could not put the ball into the back of the net. He was bringing forward with his right back, and we were with the header there, and in the end, we were able to collect the ball, but it had me scared a little bit. And then we went into the second half, and uh, yeah, Costa or Cuadrado linking up, Cuadrado with the lovely ball roll, and there we have the lead 1-0. So um, yeah, we go into the lead, happy with that, of course. And uh, yeah, here we get a nice little passing sequence going and he went with offside trap. I went with a scoop turn and I would chip his goalkeeper. That was a nice little goal. And I did not expect I would beat his entire defensive line with the scoop turn, but I guess he was thinking that I was going to pass it forward or something like that, maybe. Um, and then he went for the offside trap. Maybe he got impatient. I'm not sure. But it gave me a free goal in the end. And uh, we got another big chance here with Costa, but on the weak foot, not a very good shot. And in the end, we win the match 2-0. But this guy was quite good. And uh, in the first half, I had a very difficult time breaking him down. I got a goal sort of in the beginning of the second half. And then when he rushed his back line, uh, it was a pretty comfortable win in the end when we got that 2-0 goal. But um, yeah, he was a... He was a quite good opponent and very, very difficult to play against, especially in the first half. But we got three points, and that means we're on 13 points now. We're one point away from the promotion and four points away from the title, and we have four games left to get those points. So basically, it does look like we most likely will accomplish uh, promoting from the division. We just need a draw uh, and maybe a win, then we'll get the title. So yeah, four points and a draw will be fine enough. Anyways, we are up against a 4-3-3 team. Uh, EX in there in the midfield, a player I would love to get. I'm not too sure how much he goes for, but maybe he could be one of the players for a potential little new squad um, if he's not too expensive. But Costa starting it off here in the 11th minute, but couldn't beat Smeichel 
in the net. And then 37th minute, my opponent with a lovely football onto Son. Another player I could consider getting. Son and Eriksen together. But I think it would be quite expensive going Premier League, of course. They are usually not the cheapest players. And just before halftime, we get a chance with Perisic there. But couldn't find the back of the net. And what I usually do when I struggle at halftime or at least haven't found the back of the net and stuff is not really clicking for me. I changed into a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. I did it against my last opponent. It turned the game around and I did the same in this match and I scored pretty much right away from the kickoff. My opponent with a big chance, however, in the other end, he gets a corner there. He sends it in a bit of a weird corner. It falls to my tip on the like far end of the pitch and they go down the line, send it in and Sun with a volley there for a second when I was playing a thought it was actually a sort of a scorpion kick or heel kick, but it's just a regular volley in the end. And we get a huge chance there to go into the two-goal lead, but couldn't put the ball into the back of the net. And in the second half, I was definitely creating a lot. Playing the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, I, I, I don't know. I just think I play a whole lot better, but it just doesn't really suit, with all, suit me with all the wingers when I am to set up my starting eleven. Um, and I do also like the 4-3-2-1, but um, at least if I am like trying to get a win, I'll probably change the formation. But here... Um, that clip was kind of interesting. He started over on the right-hand side, moved over to the left, and my defense was all right, but then Sterling just all of a sudden just like popped into my box, and he was just completely open, and I saw him, but I couldn't get a play over there quick enough, and uh, he would score fair enough to make it 1-1, but some good play here, and it would finally beat Michael yet again, because he had saved so many of my shots in this second half. Uh, so it's nice to get the 2-1 goal, and I tried to get a third one there, but saved by Smeichel, and in the end, we'll win the match 2-1. So we get three more points. That means we are now in to uh, Division 6, or at least we secured the promotion into it. Now we just need one more point in order to get um, in order to get that title, and those a little bit of extra uh, prize money or prize coins, I suppose it is. But uh, again, we played a couple of matches online, so I wanted to just get my fitness up a little bit. So a quick little squad battle match. The team are not really anything amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, we start off kind of similar goal uh, as to what we scored against the la in this last squad battle match. It's just in the midfield, do a stop and turn when the defender is chasing you and then use the run of your other striker. He usually drags somebody with him and then it opens up a lot of space. Hey, I did get a goal against me, but... Uh, it didn't take too long before we went back into the lead and pretty much one minute later we're on the ball again again using the stop and turn quite good against the AI lovely ball on through to Gelson Martins and that was 3-1 then we went into the second half we get a couple more goals in this match Abubakar onto Martins and there Keita with another goal and uh, to end it all off we would get the maximum amount of goals you can get sort of uh, points for uh, with Abubakar here 5-1 so a good match around 2,400 to 2,500 points points which i think is around the maximum you can get when playing against a legendary i am not sure what you get on ultimate but i'd assume it'll be a fair bit more at least but then it probably is very difficult to win uh, with those score lines anyways a very very good match that was uh, got our team fit got some more points and i think we're like in the like pretty close to going into silver one and uh, maybe if we play a couple more squad battle matches we will get into the gold tier and get some, like around 10,000 coins or something like that. I think we got 13,000 coins last week for gold two, or was it gold three? I am not completely sure. Anyways, next opponent had a Honda on the top and a Bundesliga squad facing a lot of Bundesliga players in this episode. And um, yeah, we start off with Gomez here in the 13th minute onto Zielinski. Zielinski rolling it behind and I thought, let's just see if we can find some space by just pass and move play here instead of just breaking forward. And they edge Quadrado here, turning one defender and another one, taking the shot just on the edge of the box, but Burki would save it. And uh, in the last match uh, I played online, Schmeichel would save everything in this match. Well, Burki was going to be a bit of a pain. However, my opponent scored there. I couldn't get Coleman off. The ball just ran right through, shot it in off the crossbar. I get quite lucky here. Pass it forward to Costa. And here I would be able to beat Burki in the net and make it 1-1, which was quite nice. Uh, and then it was time to see if I could get back into the lead. But then this happened. He played over the top ball. I headed it back. I went for a long throw to the bottom corner, like my right back. But because of the lag spike, it didn't trigger all the power. I threw it right to Hunter, and he scored. And I was just, I could not believe I could see that goal. I was so frustrated because I powered it up, but because of the lag spite, it didn't trigger it. So I was looking to see if I can get a goal back because I could just go with a draw and we get the title. So Burki saved my chip there, my opponent with a shot. And then we started creating quite a few chances. Zielinski here, 
shooting it, but couldn't score. Um, in the 60th minute, won the ball again. Gomez turning around. On to Zielinski, Zielinski rolling it on to Gomez, Gomez into the box, and Burki yet again saving my shot. We get a free kick here a couple minutes later. I thought, let's try and go with a passing sequence here. We find Costa completely open, and again, not putting the ball into the back of the net. 68th minute, another chance on to Gomez. He turns to the defender, and finally, we get that second goal to make it 2-2. And I thought, okay, fine, now we are on course for the title. Breaks into the box and I launch in. I am so stupid giving him a penalty. But luckily you can see where somebody is shooting. He was looking to the left. It's not as noticeable as last year, but you could definitely see it. And I was able to save the penalty and the rebound. Chesney doing, uh, doing well there. He got the corner and from the corner, we would actually win the header, somehow get the ball, start a counter attack. I played on through to Costa. Costa, he had a little bit of stamina on him and he rushed forward. We would run right past him, go forward into the box. He's trying to chase back, went with a little skill move and I would tuck it past Burki and make it 3-2. And that was how the match was going to end. We win the title of the division. We get 6,500 coins in total. And everything is looking pretty good. And I think that is going to be where we end off this episode. We will be back hopefully tomorrow. Else it'll be Monday. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.